Hiya there, bit of a random video this is, basically what I just want to show you is Cannondale bikes really, um, a bit off topic, you know, I used to basically have a lot of money and I used to like buying push bikes and stuff like that, you know, because I don't drive or anything like that, I just ride bikes and not too long ago I went to a lost property auction and bought this bike brand new. Now, it wasn't too much, I think it was about £280, normally they're about £700. Um, really disappointed basically Cannondale, um, you know, I'm, I'm not moaning because I didn't pay full price, but if I was a normal person and I'd gone into a shop and paid the retail price for this bike, I would have felt I'd got ripped off. I have a Bianchi bike, um, which is currently in my loft, and that is a lot older than this one, you know, probably about five, six years older. And the Bianchi bike, same price range, hybrid exactly the same. I'll show you that later in this video. It is just so much better. It's unbelievable. Right, some of the points I don't like. Okay, it's a fast bike. I went, you know, when I first got on this bike, I was really shocked. You know, you, you pedal it and by God does it fly. At the moment, it's got odd wheels on. So I had a flat tyre and whatever and my Bianchi bike needed new wheels so what I did is I put these ones on my Bianchi bike but I got a flat tyre and I swapped over the Bianchi wheel for, you know, because I've been lazy. Right, what I don't like about these Cannondales, it's the paint. Absolutely chips like mad. I'm quite careful with bikes and this bike, I'll be honest, I've had it for about a year now. It just falls apart. You know, the grips, everything falling apart end caps you know the brakes on there are you telling me these brakes are off a seven eight hundred pound bike they're cheap and nasty they really really are livio brakes you know not too bad but when i was doing mating bikes i'd say they were off a 500 pound bike you know normally i used to have um ride trek downhill bikes and and build them and stuff like that and okay my trek was worth about two thousand pound but there's just no parts on this bike. I, 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 you know, if I was building a bike, I would use nothing at all. My Bianchi, if I got an expensive bike and I wanted to use parts, I would take the headset because it's absolutely awesome. It's just the bike, the seating position is really rubbish on this bike. When I ride this bike, what I tend to find is I'm always sloping off the seat. Um, I don't know if I can show you that. The telemetry of the bike just. It's not good. Okay, this is a large and my bounce sheets are small. But it's the framing. It's the seats like that. I've got it right down because it's a large bike, but you could have it high. You just feel like you're always falling off the seat. I know people say, oh, you can adjust it, but why do you need to adjust all these things? You know, just get it right straight away. All right, the parts about it, okay, it does have a nine speed on it. Um, the pedals, seriously, just look at those pedals. This is off. A 700 pound bike sorry but I've, I've seen bikes 100 pounds 200 pounds with better pedals than that absolutely awful yeah okay that's probably the only decent real part on here is a Dior which you know even on my Trek I had XTR but I you know Dior just mid-session you know a 500 pound bike you know four or five hundred pound bike would have probably Dior on these days um Basically, I don't know what the other Cannondales are like, but I received this brand new in a box and biggest shock of it, made in Taiwan. Or was it Vietnam or, or, or somewhere like that? It's absolutely dreadful. You know the brakes, everything about it, just look at it. And you might say, oh, I leave this outside, I leave this in a shed, you know. The metals of it, all rusting. There again, all rusting. You know, as I told you, the paint just chips off like mad. The paint finish is absolutely awful on these bikes. It doesn't matter how careful you are with them. The paint just falls off. God knows what's happened to the seat. You can see that there. Seriously, you would think for I've had this bike for about 10 years and it's just been stuck. This is just general. Going out on it, you know, up and down. You know, shops or whatever. As I say, I've used my Bianchi bike, which I'll show you in a bit. A lot lot longer than I've used this bike and it is currently in the loft because it needs a new um, gear ring because I've used it so much but you compare the condition of this bike to my Bianchi bike upstairs and I'm sorry Cannondale I just don't know what you're playing at you know you used to have a really good name when I was a, a kid at school you know 15 20 years ago 
everyone would die for a Cannondale. Let's put it there. It looks the business, but to be honest, it's really poor. And not long ago as well, I, um, I need an emergency bike, and I paid around I mean, £300 at Halfords for a GT bike. Again, absolute junk. Now, I'm sure that was made in somewhere like Hong Kong or somewhere really bad. Um, the quality was rubbish. GT bikes, Cannondale bikes, they used to have a really good name when I was a kid. You, you wanted a bike which said Cannondale or GT. Really absolute rubbish. You know, go down the road and everyone's like, oh, I like your bike. The other bike's a hell of a lot better. Same price, and I will show you this. If you were in the market for a hybrid, you know, and let's say you've got three, four hundred pounds to go on somewhere like eBay to buy a second hand one, or you can buy one brand new. Seriously, check out Bianchi bikes. I'll, I'll show you mine upstairs in a moment in the loft. But this is basically me moaning about Cannondale. What the hell are you paying at? Seven hundred pounds. Where are the parts? Where are the components? It's absolutely poor, and the thing's falling apart. You know, as I say, I only paid about £280 for this, and it was brand new, but it was from a lost property auction. You know, like, you might see these storage wars on the TV and things like that. I go to places like that, and I buy things, you know, lost or, you know, not paid for, and that's how I ended up with this bike, but it was brand new. But it's appalling. Absolutely just falling apart. The end cap's falling apart, and I'm, you would think I have just wrecked this bike, thrown it on the floor, done this. I actually care about it, and... It just falls apart in front of me. You don't get this part on it either. What this is for is it? I have a trailer for my little boy, and that goes on there. But just look at it. You took the Cannondale name off this bike, and you wouldn't know it was a Cannondale. Absolutely poor. Anyway, I'll carry on this video and I'll show you this Bianchi. I just want to show you a comparison he makes because not many people, you know, who are bike people are familiar with Bianchi. You know, obviously people are really cycle, you know, know what they are because they tend to be expensive. But they do start at around £700 and I just want to show you the entry level um, Bianchi hybrid I've got upstairs. And I highly recommend anyone who sees one on eBay or in a market or, you know, listings, you know, in a newspaper, buy one. Right, I will be back in a moment. Hi there and welcome back. Right. This, I'm in my loft now, so bear with me. Right, this is basically what I wanted to show you. As I say, this, this isn't the normal videos I show on YouTube. And I am in my loft, so the light quality might not be the best. But this is a Bianchi Camelotti. And same price as the, um, the Cannondale I've just shown. I've had this bike now for must be eight years, something like that. And I just want to show you the difference, really. Just look at the headset. All this, you know, I didn't buy any extras. Absolutely love, you know, adjust it, carbon. You know, look at the handles. Are you still compared to, you know, the candle downstairs? Um, the brakes, the finish, you know, of course it's got some dust. I've had it for like, you know, eight, ten years. But the paint hasn't, you know, chipped. What it's done is it's just scuffed a little bit over time. Um, that Absolutely awesome bikes, you know, this isn't Shimano or anything like this. The reason this bike, right, at the moment is in storage is because that, I don't know if you can see these, but I only ever cycle it with the top. The ring is absolutely worn out and the, and the um, bearings have broken inside. But this is after 8 to 10 years of use, cycling more than most people do in their car. You know, I used to cycle from Birmingham to Dudley. And back, which is a 20 mile run, you know, quite often, you know, and so that's 40 miles. And, and daily, you know, I'd, I'd probably cycle five, ten miles in a, in a day on it. So, this has had some real use. This bike has, you know, hasn't cracked, hasn't broken, anything like that. It's just got a bit worn, but they're really, really nice bikes. I don't know. Please ignore the um seat for a moment because unfortunately, the, the bracket breaking out. I, the only down point, I'll tell you a down point about Bianchi bikes. This bit here, right? The seat post, um, the brackets inside break. And whilst most bikes you can just go in normal bike shop, we have one by us, and you can just go and get the part, and all it is is a bracket. And then Bianchi, this bike anyway, has a complicated system, which isn't standard. And to get the seat post, you have to order it. Um, which was a bit of a pain in the backside, so... 
Unfortunately, it's sellotaped, which is really bad. It works for me, but it's sellotaped. This bike is actually off the road at the moment. Um, what I did is I brought that Cannondale as a quick fix while you know I was getting this bike repaired. You know, with this, you get metal pedals. You know, it really, really is cool. And what's nice about it is I don't know if you've seen the Cannondale, but the bar here tended to go from there and it went down slope. This, it has a nice upright going to the stem, so you're looking up instead of over, and the riding style, it, I suppose it's more like riding a chopper. It's really, really cool ride. It looks a little bit like a freestyle hybrid, you know, when you could do stunts on it, had, but the riding position is absolutely awesome on it. So anyone who is after a hybrid bike, and you know, has around the £500 mark to spend, you know, maybe a bit more, Seriously, look out for Bianchi bikes, you know. As for a test ride, they're absolutely shocking. They're really, really good bikes. So this one, you know, I'm not showing you a brand new one. I'm showing you one which is in my loft, which is my favourite bike. And I can't part with it because I love it so much. I just need to earn a little bit of money and find some time just to buy a new back button bracket. And that's, a, that's, the, that's the reason why it's in here and I'm using that Cannondale. But, you know, when I compare the two makes, and they're the same price and same sort of style... The Bianchi is really, really cool. It's made in Italy. You know, even, I can't show you that because of the thing. Even, even the logo on the front, you know, is a proper metal. I don't know if you can see it better now. It's just a really nice classy bike. And it's sort of this matte stroke satiny black. It doesn't chip, you know. Half of these, you know, little wounds are here is... Me, you know, locking it up and people bashing bikes against it, you know, in the bike thing, you know, going to Tesco's, that type of thing. Really nice bike, though. Anyway, I'm just waffling on. I just wanted to show you the difference between Cannondale and Bianchi on the same price range. Buy a Bianchi. They're just so classy. The only downfall, I would say, with a Bianchi is they're a little bit like a Ferrari for a bike, for a car. You buy one and fees will look at it. That's what you've got to watch. You know, it's... Proper bike feed, no bianchis are worth money, whilst the common person might not. And they do get noticed a lot, you know, I've had people follow me on this bike thinking it's, you know, the two £3,000 bianchi. This one's just the entry level one. Thanks for looking, bye bye.